questions and answers with the Prince of Macedon. Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here, and I'll be doing uh, questions and answers with you guys as usual. You guys give me some questions, and I answer a few of those questions based on the 11 minute period of time that YouTube allots me. But um, before I start, I want to say I am working on an adventure video. Not sure when I'll be able to um, film it though, because uh, the weather's been really bad. It's been raining like every single day in Orlando. And um, I've, been, I've been pretty busy too, so it's, it's a combination of bad things. But I will get to work on it as soon as I can. Um, anyway, let's start this uh, questions and answers session. First question comes from Bodicea. Her question is, if you were an astronaut and managed to find another planet similar to Earth, but with no dominant species, what would you name it? What would your three main laws be? And how would you ensure it wouldn't evolve into a similar mess to that of Earth? Well, um, first off, I would name it Planet Cheeseburger because that's a fun name. And if I knew a planet named Planet Cheeseburger, I'd move there in a heartbeat. Um, second question, part of the first question is, uh, what would your three main laws be? That's kind of hard. Um, I didn't want to think too much because uh, my brain will explode, but um, I guess the first law would be no littering. I hate seeing garbage on the, on the streets when people can easily put it in a trash receptacle. Um, also, kids should not operate any motorized vehicles, especially those motorized scooters, because I think when kids play, they should be doing things um, like the Fred Flintstone way. They should be uh, using their cardiovascular, because when you're a kid, you need to be getting your, your body active so that you can get your body used to uh, being you know, physical. Um, and third law would be a law that bans smoking in any indoor public locations. Um, I don't want to ban smoking altogether because I know people do that, but I want to ban it from all public indoor places. And uh, the third question of that first question is, how would you ensure that it wouldn't evolve into a similar Earth to that of Earth? Well, um, to be general, I would have to eliminate poverty, um, lack of education, um, cultural ignorance, and um, also lack of resources. I think every uh, political state should have a, uh, a, a resource that they can uh, exploit and, and no single political entity should, uh, should have a monopoly on every resource available. So every state should not be wanting. And um, second question comes from uh, Prussian Adler, or it's Prussian Adler. His question is, the Teutonic Order still exists today. Would you join it? Um, I don't think I could. I am Catholic, but I'm not hardcore Catholic. I think if you want to join one of those um, those orders like that, you need to be really 100%, you know, sure of your of your faith. I mean, I'm sure of my faith, but I'm not as determined, and uh, you know, I don't have the same kind of conviction as one of those guys would. Um, second question comes from the Prince of Thessaly. His question is: Do you notice anything of the oil catastrophe in the Gulf? And I says, I know you don't live at the beach, but anything being economical. Um, I haven't noticed any backlashes yet, and I haven't seen any of the oil myself. Um, the last time I went to the beach, I went to uh, Cocoa Beach, but that's on the Atlantic coast. Um, Tampa Bay is more on the, uh, the Gulf Coast. I haven't seen any of this yet, but I do know the oil spill is coming, and I am terrified to, to think what's going to happen to all the sea life out there and how it's going to affect our ecosystem. All right, next question comes from Knight kills. His question is, what do you think is your favorite pizza place? Well, easily that is Papa John's. I mean, for the cost and for the convenience, I'd say Papa John's. I love everything about the pizza. I love the uh, the sauce. I love the, the dough especially. Alright, next question comes from XZ Asian Viet Boy ZX. His question is, who is your favorite military commander outside of Europe? Excluding Genghis Khan, since you already have that in your list of favorite commanders. Um, I actually have a lot of favorite non-European commanders. Um, I'll just name a few, the few that I can remember. Um, one would be uh, Isoroku Yamamoto. He was the, uh, the naval commander of uh, Imperial Japan during World War II. Um, although he finally lost against the U.S., um, you gotta say it's hard fighting against the U.S., but this guy, he put on quite a show in the Pacific. And um, his military thinking and planning at Pearl Harbor and Midway, it was, it was unbelievable. I mean, he lost in Midway, but the amount of thinking that went into that battle, it was incredible. And, um, I mean, now that we th you think about it, we have hindsight, and, you know, we, we know that Midway was a U.S. victory, but at the time, that was a very uh, scary battle for the U.S. because we were completely outnumbered in carriers. And, um, yeah, Yamamoto's one. Uh, Patton, of course, from World War II, another World War II commander. 
Um, hey, what's what's the name of another World War II commander? Um, MacArthur. He developed the uh, the leapfrogging technique, which um, which bypassed uh, Japanese garrisons, and um, that way we ensured that the U.S. took less casualties and we concentrated more on the more important strategic islands. And if we bypassed those little islands garrisoned by Japanese forces, um, we could let them starve, and then deal with them later. Um, let's move on to another time period. Uh, Robert E. Lee from the U.S. of War. Definitely a great commander, American. Um, who else? Alright, I can't name Genghis Khan, but I will name uh, Kublai Khan. <laughs> uh, Tamer Lane. Um, who else? Hannibal, Hannibal Barca from uh, the Punic Wars. Uh, Cyrus the Great, of course. That was actually one of Alexander the Great's, um, one of his heroes, too. Cyrus the Great, he talked very well of him. Um, who else? Attila the Hun. And let's see, let's go to the next question. This question comes from Consular Candidate. His question is, hot dogs or hamburgers? Um, to me, hot dogs are more of a snack. Like, you can eat one and it won't fill you up. But a hamburger, that will fill you up and it's tasty and it's more fulfilling. So I'd rather have a hamburger than a hot dog. But I like both. Uh, next question comes from Zombie1854. His question is, uh, churches or KSC? Food question. Um, I don't really like churches, to be honest. Um, I would say Popeyes is a better match for KFC, but that said, I still think uh, KFC is the best um, fast food um, chicken restaurant of its of its kind. I mean, I know there's a Chick-fil-A, but they're more of a chicken sandwich uh, restaurant, so I don't want to compare those two. Um, next question comes from Mr. Man 5566 His question is, what is the best restaurant you have ever eaten at and why? That is impossible to answer. But um, one of my favorite restaurants would be uh, Kobe Steakhouse. That's a Japanese um, hibachi type where they, they cook in front of you. They do all kinds of tricks while they're making food. They give you a lot of food. It's all tasty. Um, I think my favorite is getting the uh, steak and chicken. That's my favorite combination there. I love that place. Um, next question comes from Kush MC Doof. His question is, what is your favorite faction in Medieval 2 Total War? Um, in case you're wondering, that's a game developed by the Creative Assembly, set in the medieval times. Um, my favorite historical factions would be uh, the Mongols and the Teutonic Order, but my favorite faction to use in um, Medieval 2 Total War would probably be the Teutonic Order. I love their, um, I love their history, I love their, their armor especially, and, the, uh, and the, the decorations they put on their armor. It's, it's, it's awesome looking, it's intimidating. Next question comes from YayZ... Z or whatever. His question is, what encouraged you to start making videos on YouTube? Um, nothing really encouraged me, to be honest. I just wanted to make videos, and hopefully people out there would share the same interest as me. And um, if they didn't share the same interest, maybe they'd be interested in me as a person, and then they could relate. And um, that's really the only um, reason why I started making videos. Like, I didn't care if people watched it or not. Oh, I mean, I cared if people watched it, but I didn't care how many people watched it. Alright, next question is, um, it comes from Steve is watching, his question is, who do you think is the most beautiful woman in the world? Uh, that's, that's impossible to answer. That's even harder than the favorite restaurant, but most beautiful woman? Um, actually, um, the most beautiful women I've seen were complete strangers. These are people I've never seen in my life, and they weren't famous at all. But I'm gonna go with a, uh, celebrity so that you guys can, um, so you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, Penelope Cruz is, is beautiful. I love her. I like the, uh, the uh, the features that she has, like brunette, um, kind of tan, nice dark brown eyes, but um, who else? Who else? Uh, Diane Heitkruger, she's beautiful. She's that the German actress from National Treasures 1 and 2, and she also played Helen in, um, in Troy. A uh, very, uh, very uh, good looking uh, blonde and blue eyes, so so really, I don't really have a favorite feature. It just really, it's really depends. It really depends on on who the girl is and how she uh, she carries herself. Um, it's hard to say, but yeah, the best looking girls I've seen were complete strangers. These are people who who will probably never be famous. All right, um, I have time for one more question, unfortunately, and this last question will come from Ed Joe Hugh. His question is: If you like mastering commanders so much, why don't you like naval battles on Empire and Napoleon? P.S. Have you seen the film uh, Zulu? If so, what do you think? Um, first off, I do like Naval Warfare, but not that much. Um, as for why I don't like playing it, I guess I don't really have that much of an interest to, to be playing it on a video game. But, um, that said, to answer your question, why do I like Master and Commander so much, but not playing it on, 
on video games. That's because I think Master Commander was such a well-made movie. Like, um, it's hard to explain why I like that movie. It's, it's just so uh, serene, relaxing, even though there's plenty of warfare depicted. And the performances by Russell Crowe and um, his friend the Doctor, it was top-notch. And um, the naval warfare shown in the, in the film itself, it just looked realistic to me. Even though I don't like naval warfare to begin with, I do like, I do like the way it was depicted in that movie. And yes, that's one of my favorite movies ever made. And uh, P.S. Have you seen the film Zulu? Yes, I have seen that movie, and that is also one of my favorites. But it's not, it wouldn't be in the top ten favorites of war movies, but it's definitely up there. I really like the depiction of, of late uh, 19th century warfare, especially in that exotic setting. Um, anyways, that's all I have time for. Um, I'm going to try to film that adventure video soon, whenever the weather lets up, and whenever I have free time. So until next time, I'll see you guys soon.